Hi guys, my name is Rodrigo and you're watching Travelzilla and guess what, today I'm going to be your tour guide here in the airport of Curitiba in the south of Brazil. So let's go! The International Airport of Curitiba in the south of Brazil is located in the city's metropolitan area, 19 kilometers or 11.8 miles from the city center. Transportation from the city to the airport by Uber will cost you around 40 reais or 7.6 US dollars, 6.5 euros and 30 to 40 minutes depending on traffic. As soon as you arrive here at the airport, your Uber driver will drop you off right here. If you happen to drive here, there's a parking lot with 4,000 parking spaces. Let's go in. Follow me. So guys, um, I'm going to start with the um, departures area and then the arrivals area outside security, like before I go through security and then after I go through security. This is the boarding area. Here you'll find the self-service check-in machines, baggage drop-off and the regular airline counters just in case you need some extra help. This is the place where you're going to have to check your luggage and print your boarding passes if needed. The airport has been recently renovated and expanded by its administrator in Ferro, owned by the Brazilian government. This airport is being prepared for tender, set to happen as soon as possible. Well, after the expansion, the airport is set to handle up to 15 million passengers a year. 7.3 million passengers used the airport last year alone, a number that will likely increase a lot in the coming years. Well, the airport is empty right now due to the pandemic, but in a normal day, 20,000 people fly in and out of here. This area is where Gol Airlines is located. Other Brazilian airlines such as Azul, Latam, Passaredo and Aerolíneas Argentinas from Argentina also fly here. So I'm here at the International Airport of Curitiba in the south of Brazil in the state of Paraná. So they've um, prepared the airport, they've been preparing the airport to be privatized. Um, so Infraero, which is the Brazilian state company that uh, administers several airports throughout Brazil, they have been given it to the private sector little by little and this is one of the next airports to be privatized. So they've um, made it bigger, they've renovated the terminal and they've bought a lot of new pieces of equipment throughout the, the terminal so it looks way way better than it did a couple of years ago when I was here. Um, so I'm going to tour you through the airport, show you the new parts and uh, so that you know what you're going to be facing when you come to Curitiba on business or tourism. Let's go! Curitiba's metropolitan area surpasses 4 million inhabitants, so this airport has a lot of potential. The airport has 112,000 square meters or 134 square yards in area, divided in three stories today, but it hasn't always been like this. The airport first opened in 1944, built by the Brazilian Air Force Ministry in partnership with the United States Army during World War II. The airport was completed in 1945, so after the end of the World War, so it never saw much military action at all. In 2009, Infraero unveiled a $60 million investment plan to prepare the airport for the World Cup. Further investments have been made in order to prepare the airport for tender sometime very soon. The airport's been administrated by Brazilian state company Infraero since 1974. Now let's check out what the restrooms look like, shall we? They've been recently revamped as well. Well, they look pretty nice. The airport complex invested in the enlargement of its apron and taxiways. The complex has a small museum, a mall with 208 spots for commercial outlets and services. The airport has been renovated, but a lot of new shops haven't opened nor have been rented yet due to the pandemic, which put a lot of investments on hold. The airport has 14 jetways, most of them brand new, and 12 airport parking stands, meaning that it can handle up to 26 aircrafts at the same time. Some leaving, some arriving, some parked, you get the idea. If you plan to eat here, try to do it before you go through security, for the selection of places to eat is way better before you go through security onto the gate area, if you know what I mean. On the second floor, you find really good hamburger joints such as Geronimo's, which is pretty popular in the south of Brazil, or Madero, which is my personal favorite hamburger joint in the country. Here you'll also find Pizza Hut, 
the Cheese Bread House or Casa do Pão de Queijo in Portuguese and a few other restaurants and cafes. This area should have a bunch of new shops, but the current situation put everything on hold. Maybe next year. On the second floor, you'll also find this nice sculpture by Brazilian artist based in Miami, Romero Brito. He's world famous. There's also this cafe by Nestle called Nescafe. Very creative. CWB is the airport code for Curitiba, but the W isn't part of the city's name. But since all other codes there are way more similar to the city's name were taken at the time, IATA, the International Airport Association, just gave this one to the city. Curitiba wasn't really that important in the 1940s. That's the truth. So I think that CUR would have been a more appropriate choice, but it was being used by Hato Airport in Curaçao, which was way more important than Curitiba at the time. So here at Arrivals, um, there's no mystery at all. Basically you arrive, uh, pick up your pieces of luggage, come out of that area and then you come into this area where you can rent cars, go to the parking lot um, and it's pretty straightforward or uh, hop on an Uber or a taxi and stuff like that. Um, no secret at all. So it's pretty simple. CTB, CUB or CRT were already taken by various North American cities at the time and CTA was taken by Catania in Italy, so Yata ended up choosing CWB. Let's go downstairs though to check out the arrivals area, shall we? When you arrive in Curitiba, you're gonna come out through this very door. As soon as you get out, you find a couple of car rental companies. Go past them and you see an exit door. If you get out, you see the taxi stand to your left in the area where you're gonna be waiting for your Uber driver to the right. If you park for 15 minutes or less, you're gonna pay 9 reais for it, which is 1.72 US dollars, 1.47 euros. Between 15 and 30 minutes, 16 reais or 3 dollars, 2.6 euros. For one hour, you're gonna pay 17 reais or 3.25 US dollars or 2.77 euros. If you download an app called Paribem, you get a really good discount. I'm gonna write down the name for you guys, Paribem. Here there's also a nice cafe by Nestle called Nescafe. Very creative, right? And also a bookshop. The bookshop is quite nice actually. So right next to the car rental companies, there is an information booth, which is also very helpful. So this airport's usually pretty crowded, but you know, I'm in the middle of the pandemic, um, you know, so it's empty because of that. Hey guys, so now it's time for me to go through security and uh, go to departures, otherwise I'm gonna be late, okay? Let's go in. After you go through airport security, you'll find a really cool shop. It's only duty free if you're gonna fly abroad directly from here, if not, you're gonna have to pay tax, sorry. This is a very interesting shop with a good selection of perfumes, drinks, cosmetics, clothing, so on and so forth.
a lot of the kiosks have been closed due to the pandemic. The airport's so empty so there's no need to keep them open, you know? Hey guys, so um, I'm past security. I went through the duty-free shop and um, the international part is closed, of course. It's international and I'm flying nationally, so... Um, but it's pretty similar. The only difference is that they have duty-free shops out there. Um, and here, you're gonna pay for taxes and stuff like that. And they don't have that many international flights coming out of this airport. Most of them connect through Buenos Aires, Rio, Sao Paulo, Brasilia, Belo Horizonte, Salvador. But some come out of here as well. Um, let's see, let's keep on going. I found a branch here of Delta Cafes from Portugal, so I decided to get a cup of hot coffee and milk and eat a Portuguese pastry called panata or custard tart, all for 21 reais, which comes down to 3.42 euros or 4 US dollars. I've relaxed a little bit, now let's go for a walk, shall we? Due to the pandemic, there are new rules about social distancing, etc. So please pay attention to the seats, mind the signs and follow the rules, okay? So guys, as I mentioned before, it's pretty empty, but this is due to the pandemic. Uh, I'm flying to from Curitiba to Sao Paulo, Guarulhos, in the middle of it, so... There, it's gonna be way more crowded, but here, it's just empty. And the flight's really short, uh, only about 35 to 40 minutes long, so it's gonna be quite quick. This part of the terminal looks very empty. Only a handful of shops were open. Almost everything was closed. So this projection on the floor was so cool, signaling if passengers were coming in or out of the aircraft. Really cool. So guys, as you can tell, most of the kiosks were closed. What a shame, so sad. Hey guys, it's time for me to join the line and board the aircraft. Social distancing rules properly applied, so let's go. So now it's time for me to board the aircraft. I'll be in Sao Paulo between 30 to 40 minutes from now, so let's go. The airline crew called people in really, really slowly to give them enough time to walk, maintaining a lot of space between passengers, you know? Let's get in now. Hey guys, I'm finally on the plane, I'm so happy. You know, now all I have to do is wait for every single passenger to board the aircraft, the crew to close the doors and bam, let's go home. The view of the airport from the plane is pretty cool. From here, I can actually tell they've improved a lot and expanded the airport a great deal since the last time I was here a couple of years ago, really cool. Hey guys, thank you so much for staying with me all the way to the end of this video. 
Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, share and subscribe. See you in my next videos. Come visit Curitiba. Bye bye.